What's up, everybody? It's Chris Reynolds. It is Wisdom Wednesday. I'm in the office, so I have an audience today, but I'm excited uh, because it's a beautiful day outside. Um, if you've been out at all, uh, as you can tell, I'm in my summer attire. Uh, but I was actually trying to figure out what I was going to talk about today. And um, like many of you know, I've been reading through the Bible. Right. And I'm in Leviticus. I don't know if you've ever read the Bible, but when you get to Leviticus, it's like it ain't fun. And I was talking to somebody in our office yesterday. I'm not going to mention her name, Lauren uh, Yates, but she was talking about how tough it was and like how you read this stuff. And you're thinking, how in the world could you? I mean, this is impossible. Like you can't live up to these standards where you got to cleanse yourself in the Old Testament. You got to do all these things. It was going for mold. It's telling you. I mean, stuff that I, I mean, is beyond PG, so I'm not even going to talk about it. But then I started thinking, you know what? They never would have had to do this if Adam and Eve didn't choose sin. And so we talk about how impossible it is to live for God, but really what was happening was generation after generation was paying the price of those that came before them and the choices they made. And so what does that look like for us? You know, because obviously we know the other side of the story. We wouldn't make it Old Testament wise, but God sent Jesus and Jesus paid that price. So we wouldn't have to do that stuff. But man, I started thinking, you know, when we think about how impossible it is, how amazing it is that these people were paying the price for somebody else's sin from the past. And how many decisions do you and I make that not only will affect us today, but are going to maybe possibly affect generations to come. Because that's really what it comes down to. That's what the truth comes about. The decisions you make today don't just affect you. They affect people for generations. So if anything, when we read things like the Old Testament or when we stumble through numbers in Leviticus like I'm doing uh, right now, I can't help to think, man, every time it's a little painful to read through all of this stuff is happening because somebody before chose a path other than the one that God presented to them. And man, it just leads me to pick the path that God wants for me so that for generations to come, especially my children, my children's children, even the people who I have influence with, that my decisions won't affect how hard it is for them to live a life that God has for them. And it's an incredible challenge for me. Hopefully it's an incredible challenge for you. Hopefully you stay safe and dry on this Wednesday, and maybe, just maybe, I was able to give you a little wisdom. Please call us, All Pro Team. We're here for you, even beyond real estate and transaction. It's about a relationship. It's about spending time with you and being a part of your story, and that's what we're here for. So give us a shout. We'd love to talk to you, and hopefully you have a fantastic day.